Wait a second, are you trying to tell me the show where a bunch of middle-aged women and their sons go to an island and try to sleep with each other? You're telling me that's a bad show? And by bad, I mean like morally evil. As far as entertainment, it's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh oh. No. Episode 2 of MILF Manor came out, and I wasn't initially gonna make another video about this, but I can't keep my mouth shut. Anyways, let's see what my favorite MILF and her son Joey are up to. The sun is shining, it's an amazing day. And I just love looking at the lady's bodies, and I'm just getting to know them. <laughs> it's a good start to the day. Yeah, that's Joey, and if you watch the show, you'll quickly realize that he is a... You've never rubbed me up and down. <laughs> oh so, my god. Yeah, you don't know who's who. He's not a super smart boy, and he's very horny, and occasionally that horny dumb energy is projected towards his own mother. My mom does get a lot of attention from here, uh, <laughs> be, mainly because she never wears bras and the girls are always popping out, you know, the headlights are always on. <laughs> oh my god, I thought it would take a second for Joey to start doing that, but immediately. Joey, shut the fuck up. You know what? This is juice, YouTube. This is literally just juice. <laughs> Chasing my juice with Cherry 7-Up. <laughs> I don't hold my juice very well. Okay, maybe now I can handle Joey. <laughs> now the headlights are always on, so... It didn't bother you when you were a baby sucking on a mirror, so let's keep it real. Because <laughs> I needed the milk, Mom. I needed some energy. You were really thirsty. <laughs> Joey! Shut the fuck up! Shut up, Joey! Joey, shut up! Oh my god! And Kelly! Kelly! What the hell are you talking about? That is not how a mother and son should talk to each other. Because I needed the milk, Mom. I needed some energy. You were really thirsty. <sighs> These dudes are always checking out my mom's big breasts. Yeah, you used to love my breasts when you were a baby. Yeah, I, I needed your milk. I needed your milk. Yeah, you were a thirsty boy, weren't you? Oh my god! We're two minutes and 18 seconds in. The first minute and 50 seconds was the fucking recap. I love Milf Manor so much. I feel like Jose's interested in me. Kelly, I'm gonna take a little bit more. Maybe take whatever you want. No, you're fine. But I feel like I need to get him away from his mom. She's great, but she seems to be like showing up every time I like try and talk to him. This show cannot escape the creeper allegations. I really like this Jose kid, but I need to get him away from his mom. His mom's trying to stop me from hooking up with her baby boy, so I'm gonna need to get her out of the picture. I cannot believe they decided to make this show. She's trying to bang this dear sweet boy in front of this dear sweet boy's mother. So Paula, yes, I'm taking your son out on a date. Just 50 year old women talking to each other about dating their 20 year old kids. What the hell? Sorry, I'm instinctively grabbing my kids because like, my fight or flight is kicking in. Because I needed the milk, mom. I don't like to say what I'm going to say, but I really feel that Kelly is like easy. <laughs> and I don't like that. I know for Jose, it's really important to have values. So I really don't believe Kelly is the right girl for Jose. Listen, listen, on the one hand, I love Paula. I'm a team, I'm a team Paula stan, but we don't slut shame. We slut celebrate. You feel like Kelly's too easy? Um, didn't you also apply to be on MILF Manor? You can't apply to MILF Manor and then try to play the I'm better card. And don't call her easy. Kelly is not easy. Kelly's just a woman who knows what she wants when she sees it. And also maybe something with her kid. I don't know. You were really thirsty. <sighs> <laughs> it's time to play Wall of Secrets. If you can stump your mom or son with a secret that they don't know, you'll win a romantic date. Okay, so every mother and son has to put their secret on a wall, and then they've got to guess which one is their mother's. I love everything about this show. But I know which one would be Gabriel. Possibly Gabriel. A seven-woman orgy? I don't even know how to have sleep with one woman. Uh, hello, my name is Cooper, and I... Oh man, I'd really like to I really like to make out with you naked and then do more. That's so fucking embarrassing. How do you how do you go from strangers to sleeping with somebody? That sounds insane. Uh hello, seven different women. Would you all like me at the same time? How do you meet seven women? Period. Period queen, you tell what the fuck am I talking about? I got pink eye for <laughs> How are you gonna bleep out eating? The censors said, uh yeah, we're fine with women giving sex vibes to their kids. But eating ass? That's a little perverse. Listen, eat ass. Go for it. Do it. Live your life. You could catch a lot of freaking pink eyes and <laughs> salmonella. Salmonella? Ew. Yeah, it's poop, honey. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm with the sun there. Salmonella? Yeah, it's poop. <laughs> if you got pink eye from 
ass. Oh and... my god, mom. Why are they always about to kiss each other in these interviews? This is their son and mother. Look at them. That is a connection of people about to kiss, and I'm disgusted. I've had sex in public on a beach. My mom goes to a lot of nude beaches, so... How do you know that, Joey? And why do you say it like that? My mom goes to a lot of nude beaches, so... I needed the milk, mom. Okay, so now they've, they've guessed all of their guesses, and now they're going to the confessional living room. So we're gonna see uh, what they actually did. And they're gonna tell their kids what they did. This is such a weird show. I love it. Billy's secret with sex on the beach is kind of um, a little enticing, since the beach is right <laughs> Enticing? Bruh. <laughs> enticing. They are the only mother and son who are like consistently in the confessional just talking about fucking. Even though it's not each other. She's just like, oh, that guy wants to have sex on the beach? Mm, there's a beach right there. I'm trying to fuck him on the beach, right, baby? And her son's like, oh, mom, you're crazy. Bruh. Follow up series pitch Joey and Kelly go to therapy. Mine was, I had sex in a Michelin restaurant in London with a stranger. Oh, oh my God. So that's why you've been going to Europe for so long. It's not a secret. That's just literally a flex. Kelly, based on who she is, has some insane secrets. But Joey continues with his just, it doesn't even talk like a human being. So that's why you've been going to Europe so much. Oh, what the fuck, dudes in Michelin stars? You know what, Joey? I'm gonna stop saying to shut the fuck up. Joey, speak your truth. I needed the milk, mom. I was like actually pretty shocked when it came to Kelly's secret. I thought it would be a little bit more exciting. I actually thought that it would definitely be the one that she slept with her son's best friend. That's what I thought. Oh my God, I'm glad that they're talking about this. I totally thought that she'd slept with her son's best friend. And I thought that Joey's response was gonna be, oh my God, mom, you're crazy. Just him? What about, what about me? Icky, icky, icky. Really? I thought it might've been the seven woman orgy. <laughs> I love that guy. His name is Billy. Billy, I love Billy. Oh, I thought she might have the seven woman orgy because she's such a crazy wild sexual being. You're exactly right. That's exactly what I thought. Except I don't think that Kelly sleeps with women because I get a little bit of Republican vibes from her. I'm sorry. And I could be wrong, but she just gives me strong, I don't like Trump as a person, but he's got some good ideas type gal, which is sad. I got pink eye from ass. <laughs> 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 That's a good guess, real quick, because last episode, he's the guy who was talking about sucking toes. Suck the acrylic off them toes and shove them in my mouth. And if you're sucking toes like that, you're definitely eating ass until you get pink eye. But I'm glad he didn't kiss me in our date. <laughs> After what, what I heard about Jimmy doing, no, no way. <laughs> oh yeah, she went on a date Jimmy last episode, and I guess she doesn't like that he ate ass. Paula is a very interesting woman. She seems a little bit like, uh, sex? Uh, it's a little bit of a weird topic, but yeah, I'll go on MILF Manor. She's an enigma, and I love her. Uh, but now let's go to Jimmy's mom, so young. Let's see what her secret is. I don't want to explain. I just going to answer. Explain. No. Explanation. No, I don't want to explain. Everybody explain. Soo Young doesn't want to explain her secret. Like, what could you write down that you don't want to talk about? Okay, my secret is I slept with your best friend. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Oh my god, I forgot about that one. This is something I never saw coming. Um, I did not expect this at all, 0%. And I thought I knew my mom really well. I don't know what to think about it. Finally, from the toe-sucking, ass-eating pink eye boy, we finally get a human reaction on MILF Manor. Because truly, if I found out that my mom slept with my best friend, my life would be in shambles. Like, everyone else has just been like, oh, this lady just said a crazy secret. But it's your mom. Finally, we have somebody who's like, huh? I'm a little traumatized right now, I'm not gonna lie. Yup, yeah, kind of the classic MILF scenario. But put into real life, the son's reaction is so, so valid. Because, yeah, you're on MILF Manor. Yeah, you're filming a TV show. Yeah, it's supposed to be for entertainment. But at the end of the day, you're confessing to your son that you slept with his best friend. And you both have kept that from him forever. How does this whole show not ruin your relationship as mother and son? 
and son and mother. I needed the milk, mom. Joey's best friends kind of have been with him since elementary school. That would be a boundary I would never cross. <laughs> That's good, but the hell was that reaction? I've known his friends since they were seven years old. I would never sleep with him. And then Joey. <laughs> He's with his mother. He should be the most comfortable person in a reality show ever. But somehow, he constantly makes me feel like he's horny. This show is so unique and should not get a second season. But I hope it does because I love it, but I hate it. I didn't expect this at all, really. I feel guilty. Why is she crying? She's the one who wrote down that she fucked his best friend. Hey, Young, you know you could have come up with any other secret? You could have gone the Kelly route. Uh, I had sex with a dude in a Michelin star restaurant. But no, you wrote down that you had sex with his best friend. But, I'm a human, I'm a woman too. I mean... I'm a woman too. You know, women, we'd be fucking our kids' best friends. <laughs> All right, well, coming up next, we've got Kelly and Jose going on their date. So let's get into that. So this is the place that you brought me. Yeah. This is the Mushroom Rock. Yeah. I've seen that online. I, w I wanted to come here. Do you love it? I love it. Thank you. And I'm happy to share this with you. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no way this isn't scripted like by the producers who got sponsored by the tourism agency. Oh my god, you've taken me to the Mushroom Rock, one of the coolest places on this entire island. I love it, thank you, and I'm happy to share this with you. <laughs> and Kelly's just like, yeah. I don't really know what to say. You actually make me a little bit speechless sometimes, which Why? is weird because I always have a good comeback something or something to silly or something funny to say. Are they about to kiss right now? Yeah. She's over twice his age. If we see them kiss, I'm losing my mind. I think very highly of you. Thank you, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, and I adore your mom. So I would love for her to be my mother-in-law one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, vibe checked. I'd love for your mother, who's younger than me, to be my mother-in-law. Just bringing back into perspective how disgusting all of this is. Yeah. But you know what? Love is love. Ugh, I don't believe that. This is painful to watch. This is mm. painful. So, <laughs> it was really exciting to, you know, hear how he felt about me. Uh-oh. No. Oh, Kelly! I knew that was coming. The way you were looking at me that whole time. Yeah. Kelly! 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 She is with a boy her son's age. And this is how she kissed. Put your tongue back in your mouth! Oh my god. And to say, uh-oh, while you're leaning in. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just saw a guy in his 20s tongue kiss a woman in her 50s. Milf Manor. What? Uh, and people ask, is this show scripted? It's scripted, I think, in the way of like, oh, we're gonna take you on a date. And then the producers are like, okay, we'll take you on a boat and we'll go past this mushroom rock. That's what I think the scripting is. But they did that. They had that conversation and they kissed and she went and then they put that on national television. And now I have to watch it. I feel like he was feeling what I was feeling at the same moment. Oh. He left me wanting more. That's all I could say. Okay, then they come back and it's nighttime and everybody's hanging out together. And then, let's just watch this part. This is painful. <laughs> They're, well, I don't know what they're talking about. You remember when I said that Kelly gives off Republican vibes? Well, now Jose and Paula, who Spanish is Paula's first language, they're speaking Spanish. And Kelly, yeah, let's look at how she responds to that. Maybe they're talking yeah. about us, but it's like, I just, I just want to be yeah, a part of whatever wanna, they're talking about. You want to be in the know. Jose, yo escucho lo mismo que tú. Yeah! <laughs> Paula and Stephanie and Jose speaking Spanish, you know, and their little group is definitely making everybody feel uncomfortable. Okay, Charlene, who the hell are even you, Charlene? Shut the hell up. Uh, they're speaking their first language and it's making everybody uncomfortable. Hey, Charlene, you dumb cracker. You know what also makes people uncomfortable? When they're speaking in their first language and somebody else is looking at them like this. Oh yeah? What are you saying? You want to share your thoughts with the class? Okay, no speaking in Spanish, we don't know- The majority doesn't know what you're saying, okay? No lies, no lies. I speak Spanish and English. No, I speak the same. I don't know. Kelly, she's not talking to you. She's talking to her son. So if it's more comfortable for her to talk in Spanish, let her talk in Spanish. You don't really like the Spanish talk? No, I think it's rude. I don't know what you're saying. I think it's disrespectful, honestly. Are we speaking in German? Do you speak German, Kelly? I don't think so. The fact that Pola keeps speaking in Spanish with Steph and Jose, 
but I don't know what they're talking about that they can't speak in English about. So it's honestly, it's getting annoying. Yeah, well, Kelly, if they were talking to you, or if they wanted you to know what they were talking about, they would speak in English. And they're on an American TV show, so if they thought they were saying something relevant, they would say it in English. But they're talking amongst themselves, and their first language is Spanish. And yeah, Kelly, you just went on a date with her son and tongue-kissed him. It's fine for her to want to talk to him in Spanish and not have you listening in. I love these ladies. But Kelly's whole, it's rude. It's rude. God, I hate that I was right about the Republican vibe. I have it. It's rude. It's my first language, our first language. Yeah. But you're not. You're not here to speak your first language. Okay, I'm we're talking to you. We're talking to you. But it's rude when you do that in front of other people, like Ricky or me. Do you speak Spanish? No, but we're, t we're translating with Ricky. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Ricky. I love Ricky. Do you speak Spanish? Translating with Ricky. No entiendo que es, eso es correcto, pero yo quiero mucho. God, do you not see how it comes across? Like, let it go. So, so when I talk, if I'm next to you, I'm going to talk to you in Spanish. It's not like I hear a lot of screaming downstairs. <laughs> I love Jose. He is so unbothered by everything. He like should be in the middle of all this, but he's just upstairs. Uh, yeah, I hear a lot of screaming, but you know, who cares? No, oh, yeah. no it's not like that. Yeah. No. What's the problem? Yeah. I don't know. Jose, I'm asking you. What's the problem? Oh damn! Actually, never mind. My bad. My bad. Immediately retract that statement. Jose trying to solve the problem. Love you again, Jose. I actually, I never even thought of this. We're in Mexico, we can speak Spanish, and if you don't understand, too bad. Oh my god, this is taking place in, I didn't even think about that. This is taking place in Mexico. So when Kelly's like, uh, you know, but we're on a- We're in Mexico, bitch, we're gonna speak Spanish. I'm not to call her a bitch, Kelly's not a bitch. But is she? Comment below if Kelly's a bitch. <laughs> yeah, if you're in Mexico, what are you gonna say? We're in America, speak English, shut the hell up. It's me, Steph. Hey, I'm sorry. I don't want you to feel like that. I, I swear, we're not- Not to be inappropriate. What did Joey say at the beginning of this episode? The girls are always popping out, you know, the headlights are always on. <laughs> there are people that maybe it bothers, they just- Okay, well then have me. them come to me. Right, but that's She's not- She's still- Yeah, but don't, don't capture that energy. Starts to give me some second thoughts about Hopefully her. you're gonna meet another woman from there and leave Kelly just- by his side. By his side. Hey. Oh, and that's what I'm gonna say it. Racism gives you. I'm not trying to make any statements here, but yeah, if someone's saying, don't speak Spanish, you can't speak Spanish, you're being rude speaking Spanish. I feel like if Spanish is your first language, your reaction might not be, I'm in love with this woman. Damn, and right after we saw true love start to bloom on that boat trip. This show is the greatest thing I've ever seen. I love you, please subscribe. And I said, I said, if I get 100,000 subscribers, I will post my bare butt cheeks on Instagram. I'm just simply waiting on my silver plaque to come so that I can put my plaque right here and post my bare butt cheeks. I love you so much and I will do it. Subscribe right now, 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 subscribe right now.